Welcome to part two of our second tutorial series focusing on the application specific features of the RoboLogic software simulation package. In our part one tutorial, we used the spot welding application and learned how to delete program instructions, insert program instructions. We learned how to use the spot weld instruction with target locations as well as the path weld instruction with defined paths. For our part two tutorial, we'll be using the arc welding application. Both the spot welding and arc welding applications employ the same control panel. The instructions set for these two applications are virtually identical. However, there are some significant differences between the arc weld and spot weld instructions. In this environment, car frames suitable for arc welding are brought to the work envelope by way of a conveyor. The instruction set includes the path weld instruction that we covered in our last tutorial. As you recall, this instruction allows the user to define path segments to be welded, as well as the order in which each segment is addressed. Should you need a refresher, you can review the previous tutorial that illustrates how path segments can be defined by using your mouse. In addition to the path weld instruction, there's an arc weld instruction included with this application. Unlike the spot weld instruction, which uses a single point from the position register, the arc weld instruction is a point-to-point -point welding instruction which is to say that the arc weld instruction is intended for use with two position register locations. When adding this instruction to your program, the first position referenced in the dialog box represents the starting point for the weld. The second position referenced in the setup dialog box represents the end point of the weld. Having completed the addition of the arc weld instruction, we'll take a moment and confirm our two target locations using a feature provided by the position register. The two arrow buttons in the lower right corner of the position register allow the user to pan through stored locations. This feature is ideally suited for reviewing point-to-point -point operations. With our program complete and our position data confirmed, we're ready to run our application. With the program running, we can see the tool center point being moved to the first reference location stored in the position register. Once the target location is acquired, the arc welding process begins. Welding continues until the second referenced point is reached, at which point the instruction's execution is terminated. It should be noted that multiple instances of this instruction can be used within a program. One key item to note here is that we've now covered three distinct types of welding instructions. The spot weld instruction welds a single position register location. The arc weld instruction is a point-to-point -point welding instruction, and the path weld instruction will weld along one or more user-defined path segments. This concludes our Series 2 Part 2 tutorial utilizing the arc welding application in the RoboLogic simulation software package.